Welcome to Vault 777. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's 2,000 Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Papa Jake, and welcome to the Spice! Tune in to a new video every Monday. Tuesday! Wednesday! Thursday! Friday! Every Friday, we're giving away one Nintendo Switch to a lucky fan who has smashed the subscribe button and commented hashtag on every video this week. So good luck and enjoy the video. I can literally see the text in front of you. You are lying. Okay, fine, Logan, you caught me. I lied a little bit, all right? But I had to take down a mutant to get these things. But look at them, six whole caps. You know what this could buy us back in the vault? A couple chicken fingers? Okay, right now, yes, maybe a couple chicken fingers, but Logan, if we keep going on these quests, we might be able to get better missions from that guy back at the vault. My rad meter's been off the charts. I think it's been enough radiation for the day. Why don't we show everyone what we've been up to? All right, guys, so check this out. We are standing in front of the biggest, the most advanced, and might I say the coolest fallout shelter we have ever created. This is exactly what we need to survive whatever's going on out there. This what's going on out there ain't normal. It has everything you could possibly ask for and it's controlled entirely by my pit boy. Let's open it up. Jake, how long exactly are we going inside this thing? Well, Logan, that's the problem about Fallout. You see, the Fallout on the ground can last five million years plus, so. You guys gotta come inside. Hold on, let me unlock it here. Just gonna insert my pit boy. Right, and opening the Fallout pressurized door. Welcome to Vault 777. All right, guys, check it out. So this is the entrance to the actual fallout shelter itself. We wanted to include everything you could possibly need in case we're here for a long time. So, I mean, we've got recreational facilities, we've got medical facilities, and we have living facilities. But the most important thing is we didn't know what kind of people were going to be outside. If we know anything about fallout, there's normally mutants, raiders, mutant animals, not to mention the radiation. So we had to make this secure. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut the door. Alright, well, welcome to the staging area of the actual shelter itself. Over here, you guys can see, we've got uh, our room here. This is our gear room when we're gearing up to go outside. We've got some biohazard suits as well as our gas masks on the wall. All very important, which I think we should probably go on some missions. You'll have to let us know in the comments if you think we should go out. I mean, there's always crazy missions to do in Fallout, so I think going out, grabbing new gear, trying to find maybe some more caps would be pretty cool. And I'd love to get myself a suit of power armor. Over here, we've got some radio radiation detecting equipment along with some more gas masks. And there we go. We got ourselves some vault tech official gloves. All right, Logan, well, of course, in order for us to enter the actual vault, we need to go through the decontamination room because we cannot bring any of the radioactive material back with us. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Yeah, hold on. Don't you move. Don't do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm scanning you. Gotta make sure we don't have too high radiation. Right now, Jake is using a Geiger counter to count the Geiger, which is radiation. That is our Geiger counter. More useful outside. But let's enter into the biggest fort we've ever built. There are so many rooms, so many tunnels. This is crazy. But let's go through decontamination before we can get there. I actually feel like we're underground in this bunker because it's just so big. Decontamination beginning now. Honestly, it's not that bad, Logan. I think it's just like a quick little, you know, smoky smoke, and then we get to move on. Just gets the radiation off the bus. Decontamination finished. You think? 
on to the next area. And we are now inside the service hub. Once you're inside the service hub, you gotta insert some coins so you can have access to the rest of the bunker. It also has a bunch of news in it. So for example, today's news is your country needs you. Enlist. Also, look what I found. An Adam's cat hat. This is pretty much what's happened. A nuclear explosion has happened and now we are going inside the bunker. For some reason, there's a lot of like nuclear fallout memorabilia in here. I mean, it's fallout shelter. You can't have a fallout shelter without fallout memorabilia. And of course, in fallout fashion, our money is nuclear coal the caps. So you're looking why you put my uh, payment in for me. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for paying the vault tax. You now have access to the entire vault. All right, and we're good to go. All right, well, the next room, guys, we have is the med bay. In case we do go out on a crazy mission and we face off against the mutants or maybe find ourselves out there without protection against radiation, we would visit the med bay. So check this place out. Keep in mind, this is already like the third room? Fourth room we've been to? There's a lot of rooms in this box for it. All right, guys, welcome to the medical bay where we have everything uh, we need. Yes. Who is he? Uh, I named him uh, Philip, but uh, I, I don't actually know his name. His real name's like Largle Largle or something. He's a mutant. We caught this guy outside wandering the wasteland. He's here for science purposes. Right, Philip? Yeah, that's why we got the biohazard thing here. He is very radioactive. These mutants are extremely dangerous if you get close to them. But thankfully, we've got stuff like right away. Uh, uh, that's not right away, it's a urine. It's, it's not apple juice. It's not apple juice, it's a, it's a urine sample. That's from Philip. But we have stuff like right away here, which we can use in case we need it. Or we got this big thing. Oh, gee. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what we could do in the box for med bay in case, for example, something happened, like Logan came back and was radioactive. Gee, I'm, I'm not feeling too great right now. Perfect, I, that's really exactly how you good. would. No, no, I'm not. This yes. isn't for the skit. I love no. the acting. What, where are you going? I'm not feeling great, no, Jake. You need to put this on. Why? Because it's gonna cure your radiation. Uh, he would be like this if he was radiated. He would be uh, acting kind of weird. There. We would simply attach the other end to a pack of Radaway. This is uh, currently an empty pack because we're not going to give Logan Radaway. And that's basically how we would treat Radaway. I mean, we can treat almost anything in this place and we're constantly learning and upgrading our science skills the more that we go out and the more that we explore the wasteland. I think the issue is I need food. I'm really hungry. I oh, can use some oh. food. Why don't, you, why don't you say so, Logan? Okay, well, take, take that off, buddy. But Logan, it sounds like what you really need is some food. So why don't we continue into the rest of the shelter and I'll show you where we can grab some nice Grub. Guys, this is actually like the craziest fort. <laughs> There's places that we built and we don't even remember how to get to them. Logan, are you coming? I can't remember if we go down this way. Jake. Yes. How long did this take us to build? It took a very long time. Now there's a tunnel here, but this is the red tunnel. So I think this is the evacuation tunnel. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is actually my room. Let me just go ahead, catch my pit boy and unlock it. There we go. Now it's not much given that we're in a fallout shelter. This is where Jake wants to spend the next couple of years. This is my bedroom. Logan has his bedroom. I've got my bedroom. This is where uh, I would sleep after a long day of exploring the wasteland. But Logan, aside from my ukulele, I also got some food. See? Told ya. Wait, no, 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 that's not the food. No, no, Jake, I need real food. What do you mean? I need real food. This is a fallout shelter, Logan. It's chicken teriyaki with rice. No, 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 Jake. Let's go to the kitchen. Logan, you're telling me that that is not chicken teriyaki and rice. It's literally the furthest thing from what I want to eat right now. Okay, but if you go to the kitchen and buy food, then you're gonna have to use caps. And we don't exactly have like millions of caps, Logan. Now we head through this hallway into one of my favorite rooms. Welcome to the green room. This room makes me feel like I'm outside in a nice forest, cause it's all green, we have some plants. Well, yeah, if you're living in a fallout shelter for potentially years on end, you need a place where you can come and basically just pretend you're outside. Enjoy nature, you know, come outside, play a bit of golf. We even got the old pigskin to throw around. Tons of room for activities. So many activities, like kicking a ball against the wall. All right, anyways, what we're really here for is the food. I'm getting some Why chicken fingers. food? We're wasting money. We have perfectly good food. Oh, uh, Frankie, right? Yep, Frankie here. Frankie is our shopkeeper at the vault. How much is this? That'll be 200 caps. What? I don't have 200 caps? That thing is sick. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna put that back there. <gasps> you have a real power suit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, come on. That's 2,000 caps. Oh, can the quest we can complete with that? Please, don't eat for a month. No, 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 Jake, I need food right now. How much is this thing? We're gonna have to ask your friend to step outside. Here is the caps. Oh, thank you very much. I'll see you soon, Frankie. We got ourselves some radiated mole rat. That's kind of gross, but it's the best we got. What are those? 
Mm, uh, French fries. For as much fun as raiding and taking down mutants is, the vault life can at times get, well, boring. Logan was enjoying a virtual suntan while I was learning to play the ukulele. Logan, uh, I'm getting an alert on my pit boy. You might want to see this. What kind of alert? Like a new delivery at the door alert? No, Logan, we don't get deliveries to the vault. This is coming from the medical room. Well, what is it, Jake? Why are you exercising? Logan, it's the prisoner. It looks like he's escaping. Here, check out the security feed. Logan, look at this. He's completely broken out of the cryo chamber. We need to go capture him. If he lets his fellow mutants know where this vault is, as strong as those doors are, we do not want 300 mutants trying to break into this place. This could be very, very bad. I also wasn't exactly the nicest person to him. That's why you should be nice to everyone, Jake. Okay, we're gonna have to go outside. We're gonna need to gear up with whatever gear we have and chase down that mutant. Hopefully he hasn't made it back to his base camp yet. There was one more part of this vault I hadn't shown you. It's my secret armory. All right, Logan, check this out. There are rooms in this place even I don't know about. And here we go inside the armory. This is all the ammunition, blasters, and about everything else I found out in the wasteland. Put it all here. Grab what you can, because we're going back out. We'll need right away, food, and medical supplies. I don't know how long we're gonna be out there. One thing I do know is we're gonna track down this mutant and get back to this vault. Oh.